Greetings, friends. Happy Thursday to all of you. So yes, friends, there is finally a big update from President Biden and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on the social spending bill. Pelosi says they are now ready to pass a Build Back Better package. This means millions of dollars will be allocated towards a new round of relief checks. Dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. And friends, the next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow. So please do enter the keywords and also do stay tuned for that video. There is some culpability here when it comes to the oil companies and blaming President Biden is ignoring the fact that he has on the federal lands, which is written, account for a percentage of our production in this country, expanded permits beyond the levels offered by the previous administration. This is certainly a more complex issue than was suggested by the senator from Kentucky. On another topic, uh, Mr. President, I would say that we've learned a lot from the COVID-19. We learned that this particular pandemic targeted more than ever those among us who were up in years, seniors. They were the most vulnerable to the attack of COVID-19. And many folks in their senior years were threatened by and some succumbed to this terrible pandemic. We knew that it was a problem for senior citizens uh, and still do. Yesterday we had a hearing in the Senate Judiciary Committee that called to mind the real question before us. What if this pandemic had targeted our children and babies? What if we knew that the next pandemic was going to be particularly vulnerable, make them particularly vulnerable? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said today that negotiations on a massive social spending and climate package remain active, despite the opposition from Senate centrists that stopped the legislation in its tracks last year. Nancy Pelosi emphasized that the House Democrats, who passed a roughly $2 trillion reconciliation package in November, are essentially sidelined as Senate leaders seek to continue the delicate talks with centrist holdouts. But a day after meeting with President Biden and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer at the White House to discuss the economy, Pelosi said they are still working to enact the slimmed down version of the House legislation this year. Pelosi also stated that during a press briefing at the White House, reconciliation is a Senate matter. We passed our bill. We made our views known. And that is a closely held negotiation on the Senate side. Suffice to say that we express our interest in the timing, when it would happen. There are certain concerns that we have about subsidies in the health care bill and the rest. Pelosi also expressed some hope that whatever proposal might emerge will extend enhanced premium subsidies for millions of patients under Obamacare. Those subsidies adopted last year under Biden's $1.9 trillion crisis relief package are scheduled to expire at the end of this year. This is an occurrence that vulnerable House Democrats are scrambling to prevent. Pelosi and many other House Democrats had passed their version of the enormous reconciliation package late last year, after months of tense talks between liberals and moderates over the particulars of the legislation. The social spending package includes a host of policies designed to help working families that Democrats have sought, and in some cases, for many decades, the list includes child care subsidies, universal preschool, paid family leave, renewable energy tax incentives, and extensions of both the expanded tax credit and enhanced Obamacare subsidies. The bill represented the core of President Biden's successful campaign message in 2020. And some Republicans have balked at the size and scope of the benefits. Under the reconciliation rules, Republicans do not have the power to filibuster the legislation meaning that the bill would require only a simple majority to pass through the Senate. But in the 50-50 upper chamber, Democrats would need all their members and the two independents who caucus with them 
to move it to President Biden's desk. So friends, do you think that the Build Back Better package will ever pass? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the keyword for this video is Yosemite. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Yosemite and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, dear friends. The average nationwide price of a gallon of gas surpassed an all-time high of $5 last week. In California, the state with the highest average gas prices, drivers are now paying an eye-popping $6.45 per gallon. The price surge owes to the fundamental economic principles of supply and demand. Summer travel has sent Americans to the pump at a time when the global market is experiencing a shortage of crude oil supply, which pushed millions of barrels of oil off the market. The sky-high prices with no relief in sight have set off sharp disagreement among public officials over what should be done in response to it. Republican members of Congress have faulted President Biden for these price increases. Government policy cannot meaningfully relieve the price increases in the short term, besides an additional release of oil from the Strategic Reserve or gas tax holiday, each of which would likely reduce just a fraction of the cost. But the steps taken now could help foster decreases over the long term and insulate the market from future disruptions. In March of this year, the U.S. announced a commitment to release about 1 million barrels of oil per day from a strategic petroleum reserve over the ensuing six months. This was a move that aimed to alleviate some of the supply shortage and blunt price increases. That decision came alongside similar announcements from some U.S. allies. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know if you're concerned about gas prices in your area. Well, my fantastic and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for joining me here daily and watching the videos. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Penny A. Mason. Congratulations, my friend. Please note that if I have named you as the winner, do check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, friends. And have a wonderful, blessed Thursday.